Hi, I'm Jay, and I'm going to show you ways to make pictures. I've been rolling out some modelling clay here, so it's all nice and flat. I'm going to draw a picture in it, but I'm not going to use a pencil. I'm not going to use this end of a paintbrush. I'm going to turn it round and draw with this end. Look, I'll show you. Some eyes and a nice smiley face. You can just about see it. And there's more. Look at this. If you turn it over and put on a nice thin coloured piece of paper, you can draw another picture. Now, what shall I draw? Let's see if you can guess. It's a square with a triangle on top. It has two of these, one of those, and crosses up there. It has a chimney. It's my house. And I've got a nice path leading up to the door. There's a fence around the house. And there's some of these growing in the garden. They smell really nice. And they look beautiful. They're flowers. And up in the sky, there's clouds. And hopefully, on a really nice day, a nice hot sun. Let's draw a face on that. Now, you can just about see it. And I can just about feel it. And if I put a crayon over it, on the side, you can see it even better. There's the flowers, my fence, a cloud up in the sky, and there's the sun. Look at that lovely picture. And there's more. Check this out. Put on another piece of paper with another crayon and you can get another picture. Look. There's my house again. I think they look really nice. What do you think? Why don't you try making pictures with modelling clay and see what happens? Hello! Today we've been making a very colourful spaceship. Have a look in Smartini's gallery. Here's how we made it. Now here's a different way of colouring in. We're not using any crayons, just these lovely colours, coloured squares. We've got all sorts of different colours here. What I'm going to do is colour in a picture of a spaceship. So I'm going to put some glue on here. And you're going to colour in between the lines, but we're not going to use paint, we're not using crayon. I'm going to stick on these squares of colour so I'll put a yellow on there and then to make it really look pretty you can put lots of different colours on you don't have to put the same colour next to one another there's a purple one and look at that lovely silver and you fill the whole picture up but can you see here we've got a triangle bit now it would look a bit silly if I stuck the square at the end there wouldn't it yeah. so what we're going to do I'm going to cut it so now if we put a bit of glue there, fits in. Perfect. You can decorate it however you want. Now we've got one great big picture of a spaceship. Are you lot going to decorate it just like this with lots of blocks of colour? Yeah. 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 Brilliant. Let's get the picture out then. My favourite colour is 
sofa. This orange bit's a part of the wing. Shanika, Reese, and Jessica stuck lots of pieces of bright colored paper down to make this beautiful rocket. Why don't you try making your own spaceship? Now, what time is it now? Tidy up time. That's right, so we'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Kirsten here and this is Pattern Palace. Here are my patterns. I like patterns, I like looking at them and I like making them. This pattern is made from lots of different shades of blue. Can you see the swirl shape there? Well that is made up of lots of smaller shapes put next to each other leaving a little gap in between each one. This kind of pattern is called mosaic. I'm going to make a mosaic pattern now. I've got a nice piece of white paper and I'm going to start by drawing my design onto it. Start with a circle and then five petals to make a flower. Now I've got lots of different coloured stickers, different sizes as well. I think I'll start with these small red ones and start to fill in my flower like that. Remembering to leave a space in between each one. That's nice. Now I think these big orange circles next. Very brightly coloured. And I think finally, some blue circles. Try and stay inside the lines as I go around. That's looking brilliant. Now, if you haven't got any coloured stickers at home, don't worry because you could just get some ordinary stickers, like these ones here, very plain, and then colour them in to make your own coloured dots. That's a nice bright pink one there. I just colour that in right the way round. And then, do you know what? That's going to be perfect for the centre of my flower. Let's just take that off, stick it into the centre, that just fits brilliantly in there, doesn't it? And there we have it, a mosaic flower for my pattern palace. That looks brilliant, doesn't it? Lighthouse! Hey, let's make our own lighthouse by the sea. Now, what I've done here is cut out some old shapes or some square shapes out of old magazines and comics. Look, if I arrange them like this, these lovely blue squares, it looks like the sea. Put them all on the page, and if I get some green squares and do the same, look, it looks like the land. Now, this way of arranging shapes and colours is called 
mosaic. That's a new word for you. Mosaic. So where they have it? The land and the sea. Ooh, big picture! Oh. Now, let's make our lighthouse. Same way again, this time I'm using red squares. Let's count them. One, two, three. White squares, one, two, three. Oops. Red squares, one, two. White squares, one, two. There, let's shuffle them up a little bit. Now let's make the light. This time we're going to use yellow squares. That's for our little light. Let's put a roof on it. And some black windows. One, two. There. There's our. Oh, big picture! Oh. Right. Right, so we need a very bright yellow. Let's count these. One, two, three, four. And how about a little boat on the sea? On the rough, stormy sea, look at that. Wow! There's our big lighthouse by the sea. Finished! No heavens! <gasps> Small picture, big picture.